Yo, what's going on everyone? So tonight we are doing the Truck Fantasy 6 regular season finale. As you can see, we are racing at the Roval. I am so excited for this. Um, 50 laps actually, and this is going to be our first true test of what the uh, what the trucks look like um, on uh, the Roval. I cannot wait. I did some practice for it. I feel like this is the best uh, settings all around for that narrow uh, skill range. Compressed, normal, normal there. Infrequent mechanical failures, tire wear, normal. Slower fuel consumption because they tend to pit earlier. So let's just try to avoid all that and just try to show how fast we can be because we can be fast. We're, we're like a top five truck. So yeah, high impact forces and disabled. I think I'm just going to keep it on slower uh, fuel just for almost for every track. Especially when we come to like other championship modes as well. Four times tie wear, of course. This is for, for fun ones and black flags only. So the reason why it took me so long, because I would have gone on uh, sooner, is because I downloaded the October pack and ba bam, we are going to be racing the brand new. Um, I almost said Paul Menard. Wow, Mad Craft, and I was looking at Menards, and it's uh their special bacon one that they have. So we're going to be doing that. It's going to be fun. Uh, without further ado. Let's just show the standings. We are set for the playoffs, and now there are four spots up for grabs. And I know Johnny Sauter's really good around here, so if, can he get a win? I mean, he's pretty good on points. He's gonna have to literally crash and burn in order for uh, in order for them to not make it in. But my Snyder ten back and uh, Stuart Friesen fourteen, so it's gonna take a little special miracle in order for them to get in. So without further ado, chat, let's get into uh, this race. So. Being a championship mode, no matter what, we always use a default setup, and I think this is going to be the true test on how hard uh, this race can be, because this is going to be pure, unad unadulterated, 50 laps of me having to hit my marks perfect. I did a lot of practice for this race, and I feel I got it. I, I did a full-on dry run of where I'm going to be, and I'm going to be finishing right around the top 10. So if we can take most sport as any implication of this, it is going to be pretty good if you do say so myself. So yeah, um, show you guys my setup. It's like just right here in the middle. And then the only thing we're going to change is we're actually going to lower the brake bias a little bit and that will allow us for easier turning. So yeah, let's just go straight into uh, qualifying because who needs practice? And we are not going to be anywhere oh, near that. Goes fast around here is a 121.8, and uh, pole is an entire uh, two seconds uh, slower than that. Faster, sorry. Get the tires all warmed up. If I did my math correctly, uh, we will be pinning every six laps for anyone that is wondering in the chat we are doing our for fun season i guess is what i call, like to call it with this brand new paint scheme yo panthers welcome to the stream man and it was great just got off from uh my student teaching and uh yeah decided to hop on for uh heat four with uh took a lot of curb right there but that was a decent uh decent chicane right there even though it's a warm-up lap so it doesn't really count but yeah doing pretty good Panthers how are you doing this is gonna be the uh, turn that I'm gonna be uh, kind of iffy on because if I can nail it like that the AI will die bomb you and I also want to Oh my god. You know, the thing is, there's someone else on Twitter that uh, keeps replying to NASCAR Heat's Twitter. Um, the official uh, Twitter. And they're saying that they can't find the game either. So I, it's not just you. Because when I saw it, I'm just like, oh man, that sounds exactly like Panthers. But yeah, the October uh, DLC just came out, and we're running a brand new uh, Matt Crafton scheme. Ooh, as we just totally overestimate the uh, turn right there. This week at school as went by so fast, we see a homecoming. 
Oh, is it homecoming week? I guess um, the school that I'm at doesn't have homecoming. Because there hasn't been any, like, any talk about that whatsoever. Very good chicane. So we're probably going to be in like the 122 range, which is pretty average, honestly. Honestly, not a whole lot of time loss off of that uh, corner. Can I really... Ah, that's exactly what I wanted to, to avoid right there. Mm. Damn. 14th? Honestly, that's still not even that bad. We made a mistake twice there. But best to get it out of, done and out of our way right now, so we don't have to worry about it in the future. All right. Todd Gillen's on pole. All right, so a bunch of the playoff uh, people are up here, so without further ado, chat, I mean... Yeah, we got a mistake out of the way. This week for us, and then next week it will be senior night for our seniors. Ooh, that's fun. All right, so yeah, without further ado, let's just—we got our mistakes out of the way. Let's uh, have a mistake-free race, and uh, let's get it. Oh man, have you? Out of curiosity, have you thought about uh, college at all, Panthers? Or are you just saying it's for seniors, even though you're not a senior? I'm just, I'm just purely curious. I'm excited for this race, chat. I really am. All right, be smart out here. Going green. All right, here we go. Ready here. Green flag, green flag. Left side, left side. You got to really. Two one two zero last year on senior night. Car left. Ooh. Someone's beating and banging to the left of me. You drive a virtual truck at 100 miles an hour better than half the drivers I've seen today driving less than 30. Oh man, thanks TA. Welcome to the stream, man. I appreciate that. I still hit the wall in qualifying, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Right side, right side. This is uh, and for you to say that I'm still better, ooh, that's a that's a huge compliment. Thanks, bud. Yeah, welcome, Chad. This is our for fun season where we are essentially racing on four times tire wear. At least no. you drive fast enough to be able to hit a wall. I backed out of that. Right side, right side. Woo. Got it. Really, okay, really bad chicane. It started off, like, started off bad and just went from bad to worse. Okay, we're good. So up five places, I'm gonna watch my mirror because they love to dive bomb this uh, chicane. Very good oh, last chicane right there. Todd Glenn still has pole as well, or pole, the lead. Kind of throw it in there. Maintain a good level of stability on the truck. And we are good onto the middle sector, even though this track doesn't have sectors. I like to think it does. All clear. Surf reasons all over my inside, so. Me, I have. I am a sophomore and I play baseball and I got some small colleges looking at me and I want to go to a big school for baseball. Oh! Shit, dog. Congrats, man. Hey, stick with it. You know, like, uh, if you can get a full ride scholarship for that, I mean, take that in a heartbeat. Oh my goodness. Congrats. Definitely could have taken the second part of that chicane a lot better, but decent. Man, I love this track with the uh, trucks, chat. There you go, guy. Good job. Keep doing you. Like, seriously. Stick with it, uh, Panthers. You got this.
Todd Gillen is gone. Can you imagine if Todd Gillen wins this race? Yeah, the biggest school I got looking at me is South Alabama right now. Well, still, you know, I, I know you want to go to a big uh, college, but at least give the little ones a try. If they'll pay for you to go, I mean, if I, I mean, like, seriously, I know everyone will say that uh, uh, athletics are more important, but I definitely say academics are more important, you know? Ooh. Ooh. Really slipping and sliding through there. We're good, we're good, resume. Okay. Got to the hard part of the track. Um, so yeah. Chat, let's talk about, uh, apart from Panther's successes. I have always dreamed about going to LSU and I want to stay all four years and get a degree in something in case it don't work out. Oh, no. Okay, no, for sure, man. Um, what are their... Athletics help you physically, academics mentally if you have a teacher professor worth a damn. And I will always offer my uh, social studies assistance. I will be a teacher at the end of uh, this school year. Preschooling is preschooling. Jocks do not look at where you went to school, just that you went. Yo, Griffins, welcome to the stream, man. What? 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 Alright. Try to take it too hot and heavy through there. We're good. I tried to make a move on Ankrum and. Uh, my stability just was not there. I lost a lot of time. We'll get back up there, though. Nope. We're good. We're good. Resume! Everything's falling apart, chat! I do actually, yeah. Uh, right side. I cannot. Right side, right side. I cannot pit this lap. I have to pit next lap. Everything's falling apart, chat. Everyone's. Right side, right side. Ignore me. Oh no. Right side, right side. Right side clear. In order to make the strategy work, I have to stay out for another uh, lap. Everyone's coming at the wrong time. Oh, man. <laughs> my greed. My misdoings. Everyone, don't look at me. Oh, that's a really nice paint scheme. I got distracted. Almost missed the uh, chicane. My hubris. There I am talking that we're gonna be like a top five truck, and here I am uh, wrecking this top five truck with this swanky ass paint job. But yeah, no, totally agreed. Yeah, um, scholarships and all that don't give a hoot about uh, about where you went to school. But it's really cool, actually, that you care, though. Yeah, we're pitting this lap. And whenever we get into the red, because it's spiking up my temps, so I have to repair this damage. It's going to be an extra little bit of time, but I won't be dying. <laughs> Man, my hubris. Chat, don't judge me. Holy God, Brett Moffat's in the lead now.
kind of have to like pump the throttle every now and then because I get a little lonely and never come around turn around right side right side back it down back it down oh all right, yep, so it's going to be an extra 15 seconds, so we might as well just sort of, uh... I never forget when I had a choice of two colleges, one was community and the other university. I chose university because the community... College's presentation was half-assed? Oh, those are the worst. I mean, honestly, um... I knew exactly where I wanted to go, and it was always going to be where I'm at right, right now. Um, but, like... The community colleges in my area, like, they offered some good programs, but they just did not sell me, you know? It's like one of those things that, uh, like, literally, they have to sell you. They're Because they're a marketing, they're a business. They have to market and show you, hey, why am I here, you know? Yeah, so, all right, we'll turn this race around, chat. <laughs> you guys saw the last mistake that I'm ever going to make this race. I don't really like the Robo being honest. Oh, I love, I love the Robo. I'm just trash at it, apparently. I thought it was a lot better than, I was a lot better than uh, I actually am. Almost made a mistake right there. My traction, I swear. Keep like pumping the throttle in order to get that proper traction. You know, it is a busy pit road. All right, but yeah, welcome everyone. This is uh, Truck Fantasy Six, and we're watching uh, Amateur Hour. So, uh, welcome to the stream, everyone. This is a stream of what not to do with the Robo. I'm just kidding. It's all in jest. I mean, we're, we're more than likely still going to get a decent uh, finishing spot out of this. I just need to actually take care of my mistakes and be part of the groovy crew. That was actually a really good uh, turn one and two right there. That was pretty dank. Wait, what's with the black dude? What uh, paint scheme is that? New October paint scheme, TA. If you got the gold edition, you uh, download it from the PlayStation Store and it's for free. It's the uh, Hormel Bacon scheme. Um, I will show you um, next time we're on the back stretch right there. Or right here, actually. That's good. Look at that. It's literally just a Menard scheme, but with uh, bacon on it. It doesn't also have, like, uh, Welcome Gander Outdoors on the back, you know? By the way, did you ever get Martin Spill? Nope. I have been permanently screwed out of that. Good job. Honestly, it's not even that big of a deal. I get all these uh, DLC schemes for free, and I'm enjoying the game as is. I don't really need it. Up, oh, up. Oh. Going for another championship in Monster Energy again in NASCAR V3. Yo! Panthers, and that is. You might have to download it from the PS Store. I don't see it on there. I don't see like an option for Martinsville at night. Like, there's uh, all these options for like the DLC schemes, but like I don't see an option for Martinsville at night. If someone has done that, and... feel free to let me know. Maybe I'm just blind.
All right, so yeah, we're up to P20 now, even after our uh, abundance of mistakes. This is in my downloads when I bought the game, but I haven't tried running it, but it says I should have it. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to take a look at it. Oh boy, my worst enemy chat, lap traffic. They're not even lapped actually, I'm, I lied. Got a little squirrely there on exit. All right, Natalie. I'm coming for you. But yeah, I've actually re really been liking the uh, the paint schemes because not all of them are uh, just Darlington throwbacks. Um, I love uh, the Tyler Reddick's uh, Tame the Beast scheme, and uh, there's actually just a lot of just generic uh, cup schemes as well. One thing I do hate though is the uh, the limited uh, viability of uh, the Xfinity and truck schemes. Like, well, that was a little risque there. Um, like, only Matt Craft and Brent Moffitt, basically the people in the playoffs right now got uh, paint schemes. I want more for my trucks, you know? Because I love the truck series. That's why I created an entire custom season around it, you know? Which... Can't wait to do that tomorrow, by the way. Shameless self-plug. Thank you for giving me room, Natalie. You truly are... the reason I race you in the Xfinity series. Speaking of Xfinity series, anyone hear that uh, Harrison Burton is going to be racing the uh, 20 next year? Oh, Ben. Oh, that's no, Christian Nickus. Natalie is the coat. She can check her. Checking that decker all the way. She When she gets those checkers, you know it, her nickname's gonna be uh, Natalie Checkers. No, I didn't you hear that. Yep, Harrison Burton uh, is uh, racing for uh, Joe Gibbs in the Xfinity Series uh, next year. So their Xfinity lineup is, of course, Brandon Jones, easily like the worst driver in the entirety of NASCAR right now. Like my God. Oh my god, that's so good. Why didn't I think about that? Damn. Alright, so depending on uh, when this thing uh, turns to one lap, I may just skip a lap, you know? Check yourself before you deck yourself. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jennifer Joe Cobb ran out of talent. She's like me. Alright, so we're, we're gonna skip a lap here. Better check yourself before you... No. Uh, check yourself before you wreck yourself, yes. But, uh... Get set to get decked is uh, another thing I'm thinking of. Yeah, no shit. Thanks, Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon should, uh, oh, I, mean, I guess any uh, spotter. Uh, so, like, whether it's uh, TJ Majors or uh, 
Joey Meyer. Uh, should it be promoted from Captain Obvious to General Obvious? Alright, we're good. We're good. Resume. Alright, so we're pitting at the end of this lap. Hopefully we don't run a fuel and I crash and burn. Because that will not be optimal. Yeah, I know. Tell me more. Austin Wayne Self, I swear to God. Alright, we're pitting. Right side, right side. Watch your speed, please. There we go. Perfect. Bueno. Well, Todd Gillen's out of, those, out of the race. If not, he's already pitting. I don't know. I have no idea who that was, honestly. That was a red scheme. Ben Rhodes right there. Who was that? What truck is red in this game? It wasn't Harrison Burton. Maybe it was Harrison Burton, I'm just blind. Oh, there's Haley Deegan. But yeah, rumor mill flying around that uh, since the 18 truck is going to be open, that's going to be Christian Eckes uh, filling in that role. Hey, let me get on the uh, backstretch or the actual. Oh yeah, that was a little ambitious of, my, of me, honestly. But it worked out. Right side, right side. Any truck I drive, hopefully. Oh, uh, oh, what uh, truck is red? Okay, I, I'm, I'm reading you. See, I'm a little slow. I have all two brain cells today, so. All right, so shift down to first for the extra traction, and we'll get around Austin Hill. Hopefully, he doesn't dive bomb me. But I'm hearing he's pitting anyway. Oh man, that was actually really aggressive there with the curves. Man, I hope we get a Natalie Decker Bristol. Uh... That's three more than I got. That's three more than I got. I hope we get a Natalie Decker Bristol uh, race version in this game, because we deserve it. This round of the playoffs in Monster Energy has been so crazy BC the two races that have took place already the person that won messed up a. Yeah, dude. Panthers, I get it. Because also, um, technically no one in the bottom four is out of it yet. They're not in a must-win territory. Uh, they are currently, like, I mean, they are very low, so they might be in a must-win by the end of stage one. But if Joey Logano and or Brad Keselowski have problems, like they wreck or something like that, then all bets are off. They can make it in. Who Who's the wise guy here? Myatt Snyder. Calm down. Jesus. I told you they like to dive on that corner. I can see the challenge now. Take control of Natalie Decker's number 54 point over ignoring your sponsor to spin in turn three. Oh my god. I'm May I am safe one of my drivers are making it to the next round for sure. I mean, I can I can also see it now, you know, where uh, 
it's literally just a uh, <laughs> it's just a uh, you versus the uh, the wrecker see who wins NASCAR fighting game whoop right side. blew the chicane we're good Johnny Sauter and uh, Brett Moffat are side by side. That was my fault there. Man, this has just not been a very uh, efficient uh, race for us, have we? Still in P14, though. I have no idea how. I hope Brad can make it into the next round, though. I mean, a NASCAR fighting game with the lightness of the drivers would actually be cool. Clint Boyer versus Ryan Newman. Jeff Burton versus Jeff Gordon. Kyle Busch versus everyone. Oh, sorry, no, Kyle Busch versus the media. I can see it now, chat. Hey, we didn't blow the Cheyenne this time, chat. Hey, that score. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking with Harmel Bacon. So yeah, um, and a apart from Ross uh, landing uh, the deal at Colleg, literally the next day Colleg's uh, hauler decides to uh, wreck, albeit it was because uh, the truck driver uh, for it had a seizure, uh, but the Ross Chastain luck, you know? Literally, as soon as uh, he gets announced for that team, the hauler carrying his cars goes off the road and is total. Thank God for RCR actually providing two additional cars uh, for him to drive. You know, gotta love uh, team allegiances, you know? I had to take it a little extra slow there because I can. Did I just match my uh, fast slap? Like, I didn't beat it, I know that. Like, I think I actually literally got the same time. I'm Two laps in a row. About to win on this game. Oh my god. Have, uh, Chad, have you seen uh, the graphic where uh, Newman, if Newman would have won, how close the bottom four would be right now? It's actually insane. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, take out an extra lap right here. We're not gonna be pitting this lap. We're gonna be pitting next. Like literally, the bottom of uh, four would be like what ten points uh, away from each other and the cut line. No, I haven't. You saw that. I'm sure it's on NASCAR Reddit. But yeah. Literally, it's like... Um, the bottom half is going to be like 10 points away from each other. I wish my surprise the 9-5 could have one go. Oh, mama. Oh, my God. I almost just, like, 
impaled my front end of my truck here. Oh, mamacita. Need to cool it down in here. I can't I can't handle the heat in the kitchen. We're good, though. We're carrying on like a trooper. Fitness. Oh my god. You know, there's actually a lot of drivers. Like, I mean, like, I love the Cup Series. I love trucks and I love Xfinity. Um, I cannot wait for the graduating Xfinity class to see what they have for the uh, Cup cars. Slow down. Whoop. Almost didn't make it. We're good, though. I can't wait to see what Tyler Reddick has in store. Can't wait to see what uh, Bell has in store. And then, obviously, with Ross uh, being in top tier uh, equipment. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't say top tier. Colleg is when like. One that was a cool moment. Oh my god. A lot of first time winners across all the three series uh, this year, and they were all good. I would love to see, like, a person actually take a tear off on it. That'd be, like, a nice little touch. But I know that won't ever happen, so... Here I am, just singing in the dark. All right, gig, gig, gig. Whoa, mamacita. Cold tires. Chat, hopefully you can excuse my terrible driving. Like, literally, it is, uh, not that good. <laughs> Could be a lot better, is what I'm trying to say. I know my chicane exits could be a lot better. Gustine's pitting, so I'm not even going to bother uh, trying to pass him. We're an open track. Ooh, wow, we went on two wheels there. I felt it. I felt my uh, myself lose control of my truck. Peed a little. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Or am I? Alongside with our teammate here. I can't tell if Might Snyder is actually uh, fast or if he's just slow. Like, I don't know, right there, he was like kind of jumping back and forth with uh, each corner. He's definitely attacking the uh, chicanes really well. Same with corner exit. Easily, that chicane right there is my weakest point of the track.
I guess my center is fast, by the way. We figured it out, chat. Parker Kligerman, uh, wiped out, by the way. <laughs> there he goes. And out of this race, because Brett Moffat took over. Good talk. Nothing like the leader just deciding, he's like, nah, I'm done. He had the strategy as well. He had a really good strategy. Probably could have cut us all a, uh, by a pit stop. Yep, there it is. All those donuts right there. He was celebrating a little too early. Tom on Brett Moffat. Definitely could have avoided that second chicane there, it would have been fine. Here come the late pitters. Ninth. So now we know there is uh, two trucks in front of us that have us doubled over by strategy. And it'll be our job in order to pass them. Spencer Boy is being held up by Austin Hill. It looks like Austin Hill is in the 20s. Even though know, he is actually in the playoffs right now. Got past him pretty handily. Squeeze it in right here. Kind of slow in a fast out. Right side, right side. Clear right. much room as I can on that corner exit. Oh, we kind of beat and bang right there. I do not like where this is going. Left side, left side. Right side, right side. Looking good. Three wide. All clear. Might Snyder. I blame him for that. Oh my goodness. I backed out of it. 
because I knew I wasn't going to be able to make it, but Maya's just like, no, I'm just going to take it three wide. Screw it. He did the do. So right now, the I was going to say the three candidates uh, for winning this race was Parker Kligerman, Johnny Sauter, who is right in front of us, and uh, Brett Moffitt. But with Kligerman out now, I have no idea who's going to take over that uh, that uh, third role. Maybe Sheldon Creed? But I think he's... Nope, he's pitting next lap. Oh, this is not going to be good. Left side, left side. Far left. All right, you know what? That's fine. I don't think you're pitting this lap anyway. Losing a little ground. Watch your speed, please. There we go. We good. We good. I love it when uh, it takes 16 and a half seconds in order to do something. Oh my god, wasted. So Sheldon Cree is uh, pitting that lap, and it should allow for Brett Moffat to take over. Could be mistaken on that, though. It's going to be a while until... Uh... Tyler Ankrum in the lead. Weenie Hut Jr. Brett Moffat is. Well, I see a lot of uh, trucks on pit road. And that should be positions for us. Oh, hello. That was a little bit of the grass. Us up in the P11. Maybe Tyler Rankin's a contender for this win. As we just uh, click on these laps uh, gone by, you know? Uh, there's a lot of serious contenders. I have no idea who's going to win this race, chat. And who's going to punch their uh, ticket to the playoffs. Kind of missed the second part of the uh, chicane there, but no big deal. No biggie. We are in clean air. Coming up on heavy traffic, though, that 
as soon as I say it too, and then all of a sudden, boom, here it is. I know how to get by him though, I need to hit my mark, so. Should we be able to get past Clay Greenfield here? Bueno. Alright, so who is pitting here so I don't have to I'll go up high just in case? Just one, okay. I'm gonna kinda back off because I'm not gonna. I'm definitely not gonna out big the AI who are seriously die bombing. Slow and fast out. Someone blew, is blowing a tire up ahead of us. Oh, Tyler, uh... Ah, Dipple, get out of here. Oh, hello. Uh, I gotta hate it for Deegan. That's pretty heavy damage, we'll have to repair that. Take the seconds out of our precious, precious vehicle in order to uh, kind of get to the bottom there. Right side. Right side, right side. Leaving room for Dipple, but he had a better exit. All right. Johnny Sauer looks like he's taken over. Conservative right there. Far left. Show my uh, approval of uh, him uh, racing me the way he is. Still there. Felt like he was left a little, side, a little too dirty. Oh, uh, he's turning me, chat. Clear left. No, there was an entire lane right there. He was just like, nope. Yeah, gonna have to lost on the curbing, and this will force me to do some damage repair. Because at road courses. It is absolutely pivotal. Speedway is not so much, surprisingly enough. But any uh, seconds that you can eke out of your uh, time. Let's check out where everyone is. So we are in fourth. I don't know how we accomplished that. You're almost out of gas. Alright, so not we're not pitting this lap, but next lap. Shelton Creed is going up for another lap. I know you can go long, and there's a very much a definite chance that he can he can win this race. Should uh, 
tragedy avoid him. Yeah, my tires are getting a little worn. I'm lacking performance. Who is this? Spencer Boyd caught me. Wow, that's different. You're low on kill, bud. Alright, coming back onto the actual, uh, main part of uh, Charlotte. We will be pitting this lap. Sheldon Creed stays out for another lap for some reason. You're almost out of gas. No idea how the AI can uh, save so much fuel. We are good. Stuck the landing. No idea where this is going to put me out at. 19.1 stop. Oof. Still better than my Xfinity uh, team, though, where I... 22 second stops on the regular. Oh, yeah. We like to live large here. Clear out. Hammer down. We are good. Warming up these uh, cold tires and we'll be on our way. Someone just went straight onto the wall right there. Back down to P12 though, that's a little concerning. I know pit stops are happening right now, so I'm not that concerned. Who is that? That's Kyle Benjamin, okay. broke myself there because I saw Spencer Spencer Boyd was coming out of the pits and I wanted to beat him but it looks like he's honestly going to be fighting with Kyle Benjamin so that will allow us to get away so I can focus on hitting my lines which is something I've been uh, not really doing there's Johnny Sauter with the leader so we pass on the other side of the wall right there I always love that wall. Going past him and he's like, hey, yeah, you know, there's a tail end of the field or there's my rival right there. Oh, even better. Spencer Boyd actually uh, got, um, got up behind uh, Kyle Benjamin. So he's going to hold him up for a... Uh, New York Minute.
Bust into P7. of lap traffic. Hopefully some of them pit. I don't know about that, though. That's, I think that's just hopeful thinking. Man, there is no one in uh, regular uh, turns three and four. There has to be someone pitting in this group, right? Negative. Get around him on the top side. Keep it as straight as possible. We got out in front of uh, Myatt. Definitely don't want to... Don't want to take things three wide there, but I feel like we needed to. Now we're up in the P4, and where is everyone? Alright, good talk. Natalie's actually legitimately up here. Oh man. It is a weird day to be a Natalie Decker fan. The car ahead of you is pity. He's probably she's probably pitting this lap. Nope. Okay. Alright. She's I guess she's just up here then. So I have, hello, cones. Arc it in, slow and fast out. Tyler Ankrum is pitting now. I mean, Sheldon Creed will take over the uh, top spot. So Johnny Sauter has pace. But Tyler Ankrum and Sheldon Creed have strategy. Ooh. No idea how this race is going to end, chat. So, Tyler's going to come out, like, a little bit just in front of us. He's coming out of pit road right now. That is, yep, that's him. Okay. Once again, not this lap, but next lap. You're almost out 
the gas. And we are closing in on uh, Tyler Rankrum, but he only has to... He's not going to be able to make it on uh, one more stop. Well, actually, he can. We can, is what I meant. So we're not really racing him. Is that Sir Freezing behind us? Oh, that's Spencer Boyd. Okay. And we're actually in front of Brett Moffitt? What? Taking the chicane out of snail space. You know, good talk. This should be our second to last stop. Because I know exactly what I'm going to be doing on our last stop. We're only going to be taking two and a one can just to get us to the end. Unfortunately, just strategy just was not on our side. But there's other people that can't make it as well. So we deal, we deal. front-end damage, not a big deal. Just a wee bit. Stay left. Right side. We got a little ambitious there, so we decided to give him, uh, give the spot back. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get him in the middle sector again. Ooh, that was jumping a couple curves there. The thing is, chat, Sheldon Creed needs a uh, win in order to get in at this point. If he wins, same with Tyler Rankum. They both need a win in order to get in. I have no idea what's going to happen. This playoff is going to be uh, crazy. Because I know Todd Gilliland is uh, pretty much locked in. Last time I checked, he's beating uh, Harrison Burton in this race. No official way for me to check, but I just have a gut feeling.
us into up into fourth now. Oh, almost spun myself out and overcorrected. Sprint mop it right there. Johnny Sar does not need a win in order to get in. He's already in by points, so but a win would just get those all important playoff positions. Which we're gonna do beautifully on Ben Rhodes. So we'll win the regular season championship. And so we'll have the first playoff seed. Actually, no, I lied. Um, ben Rhodes probably so well because of, uh, of his uh, two wins, and we only have one. So we'll see how everything shakes on out. Brent Mob is fast, though. Austin Hill on the high side. Stay right. All right, you're clear. I've been killing the chicane here. Side here. Stay right. All clear. Use that momentum around the high side, and that will kick me off. Tyler Ingram's coming in. He's not winning this race. Oh man, we were all over uh, Anthony Alfredo's rear end there. We'll get around him here, though. Might as well just pit this lap. Actually, no, no, I lied. Got a plan. Because I don't think I'll be able to do it if I. Uh... You're almost out of gas. What's up, Deep Freeze? Actually, I may still be able to do it. A little bit of damage right there. Me being a scrub, got on the throttle too quickly. Children creep back on the uh, back on the point. Mm. But 
Ah, screw it. I might as well uh, come down this time. I don't, I don't think strategy's right worth it. Back it down, back it down. Worth it. Manti Freeze, how are you doing today, my dude? We're gonna have three solid laps of, uh, of racing. Oh, and about yesterday, I wouldn't want to be a high school teacher because the kids don't want to be there, but they have to LUL. <laughs> oh, no, I totally get you. Like, I, I, I understand where they're coming from. I was a high school, uh, high schooler as well. So, I, trust me, I know. Oh, Deegan, oh, no. Okay, get back in there. Let's go. Let her go. Let her go. It's not worth uh, ruining my race over. Especially when they just get out of the way for you anyway, so much appreciated. Alright, Chillin' Creed is still out front. He, like I said, he needs a win in order to get in to this playoff. Can he stick it on out for another two whole laps? Got so much homework for one zero credits this semester. Ooh. Hey, I've been there and done that as well. Um, when you get into your uh, uh, master's course, you know, everything just logs, uh, like, adds on up. Like, it is, like, seriously a mountain of stuff. But you'll get through it. I know you will. Set a schedule for yourself, and you'll be amazed at, uh, at everything you can do. Just took midterm exams, then they add more before the next week laughing. Um, yeah, midterms are this week, aren't they? Like that in university as well. Uh, for my school, uh, our midterms are next week. Gotta love those uh, standardized tests, you know? So, is Johnny gonna stay on out? He's on the final lap. Well, now he is on the final lap, so Johnny, Johnny Sawyer is gonna win this race. Maybe the... <laughs> maybe they'll take the win away from him, I don't know. That's the win away from him. <laughs> take the win. I don't know. Like it's gonna take a whole lot to, uh, considering that uh, he is like what, only like 15 seconds behind, behind me, and uh, we have one to go. Yep, no, Johnny Sauer wins this race. All right, all right, all right. Starting off the uh, playoff strong, I see. Because I think we're going to uh, Gateway for the uh, first race of the playoffs, if I do recall. But yeah, good job, Johnny. The old guys can still get it done, I see. Starting P14 on the grid, and all of our mistakes, which no one else to blame but me, will, as long as we don't totally botch this next corner, we will come home a solid top 10, ninth place. I'll be okay with that. Yep, ninth place. I'll take it. Nice work with the top 10. Uh, strategy was just not was not on our side.
102. Eh, could have been better. Really, I'm surprised uh, I didn't actually finish worse. I went through all the mistakes that I made. Pulled it together in the end, though. Yeah, Sheldon Creed was one position away. He was right there, too. He was ha oh, half a second away from getting his uh, wind in order to get in. He needed that. Oh, my goodness. Tyler Ankum back there in fourth. He needed that win as well in order to make the playoffs. But, alas, here we are. That's where my my Snyder decided to make contact with us because he was trying to die bomb me there. Yeah. I think, uh, no. I don't think anyone changed. <gasps> Sheldon Cream in on points. Oh my god. Just one point over my Snyder as well. Oh my goodness. Because there's five different winners there. Might Snyder was seriously just like beating and banging through, uh, <laughs> through uh, us there. We will win the regular season, but I think, uh, look at that. One point separated, ooh, my God, Gustine, what happened there? Um, Might Snyder, Stuart Friesen back there, three points. Cheese and crackers. Oh, and Tyler Anka was tied. What a playoff race. This wasn't a playoff race. What am I talking about? What a regular season finale. We'll see the uh, full-on breakdown of uh, of everything going on. Johnny saw with the fastest lap. And with the most laps led. Good talk, good talk. Um, Kyle Benjamin on the move, from, starting from P27 with that little baby face. And Todd Gil oh, Todd Gillen finished last. So he just tanked. I thought it was Harrison Burton that uh, that didn't finish the race. Because I knew there was one KBM truck that made it and there was one that wasn't. I thought it was Todd Gillen that was up here. But it was Harrison. Okay, all right. You made the playoffs. Fantasy six, gotta love it. Yeah, and it is a uh, gateway, look at that for the driving for linemen. All right, let's check out, uh, well, first of all, these settings, just so everyone can actually see what I was running. So no cautions. This is a for fun season, everyone. Uh, four times tire wear, uh, hardest difficulty on 105, and narrow skill range, so it was very close racing, compressed starting speed, and frequent mechanical failures. Tire wear was normal, but slower uh, fuel consumption. High impact forces and draft partners. It's just to make it as difficult for me as possible. And let's check out these uh, playoff standings. Oh my goodness. It actually shows you who's in green and who's in uh, red. I've never actually seen this before, chat. Oh wow, what? Oh. That was actually so gosh darn close. Oh, 